Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Today, we're diving deep into the world of cybersecurity, specifically WhatsApp hacking. We're talking about the top 10 methods hackers use to gain access to your WhatsApp accounts. And trust me, some of this stuff is straight out of a tech thriller. Now, before you hit that unsubscribe button thinking I'm no hacker, hear me out. This isn't about turning you into a black hat hacker. Think of it like learning how a lock works. You don't need to be a locksmith to appreciate the craftsmanship and understand how to make it even more secure. So grab your favorite drink, maybe a notebook to jot down some tips, and let's get right into it. All right, let's be real for a second. WhatsApp, it's become a fundamental part of our lives. We're talking billions of users worldwide, sharing messages, photos, videos, even making calls. But with that popularity comes a target on its back. Hackers, just like anyone else, go where the people are. And right now, everyone's on WhatsApp. We're talking about your personal conversations, private photos, sensitive information. It's all there, ripe for the taking, if you don't know how to protect yourself. That's why we're here to pull back the curtain on WhatsApp hacking. We're going to expose the methods, the tricks, the techniques that hackers use to exploit vulnerabilities and gain access to your accounts. This isn't just some abstract threat either. We've seen high-profile individuals, celebrities, even governments targeted through WhatsApp hacks. The stakes are real and the consequences can be devastating. But knowledge is power. By understanding these methods, you're already one step ahead of the game. You'll be able to spot the red flags, take the necessary precautions, and most importantly, keep your data safe and secure. Now you might be thinking, Shahraz, I'm not some VIP. Why would anyone want to hack my WhatsApp? And that's a fair question. But here's the thing. Hackers don't always discriminate. They cast a wide net. They're looking for easy targets. People who haven't taken those extra steps to secure their accounts. It's like leaving your front door unlocked. You might get lucky, but why take the risk? Plus, it's not just about stealing your personal information, although that's a huge part of it. We're talking about identity theft, financial fraud, even spreading misinformation in your name. Think about it. All it takes is one weak link in your digital chain for a hacker to gain access. And that link could very well be your WhatsApp account. That's why understanding these hacking methods is so crucial. It's about taking control of your digital life, protecting yourself and your loved ones from potential harm. It's about being proactive, not reactive. So let's dive into these methods and equip you with the knowledge you need to stay safe and secure in the digital world. First up, we've got phishing, and it's as common as it is effective. Think of it like this. You're casually scrolling through your messages, and bam, you get a text. It looks official, maybe from WhatsApp itself, or even your bank. They're telling you there's a problem with your account, maybe a suspicious login attempt, and they need you to verify your information. They give you a link, you click it, you enter your details, and that's it. You've just been hooked. See that link? It's a fake. It takes you to a website that looks identical to the real deal, but it's all a facade. As soon as you enter your username, password, any sensitive information, it goes straight to the hacker. And here's the thing about phishing. It preys on our trust, our desire to fix things quickly. But that's how they get you. So the key takeaway here, be skeptical. Next up, we've got social engineering, and this one's all about manipulation. See, hackers are masters of deception. They know how to play on your emotions, your trust, to get you to do what they want. They might create fake profiles, posing as someone you know, maybe a friend or a colleague. They'll build rapport, gain your trust, and then, when the time is right, they'll strike. They might ask for your WhatsApp verification code, claiming they accidentally sent it to your number. Or they might trick you into downloading a malicious app that gives them access to your device. The thing about social engineering is that it exploits the human element. It's not about brute forcing your way in. It's about cleverly talking your way in. Now let's talk about spyware, the silent stalker of the digital world. Spyware is a type of malware that secretly infiltrates your device hiding in plain sight. You might download it unknowingly through a malicious link, a compromised app, or even a seemingly harmless email attachment. Once it's in, it's game over. Spyware can track your every keystroke, steal your passwords, record your calls, even access your camera and microphone without you ever knowing. And that's the scariest part. It operates in the shadows, 
silently siphoning off your data while you remain completely oblivious. Think of it like someone secretly listening in on your conversations, reading your messages, watching your every move. It's the ultimate invasion of privacy. Keylogging is exactly what it sounds like, logging your every keystroke. Hackers use keyloggers, which can be hardware or software based, to record every single thing you type on your device, including your WhatsApp messages, passwords, credit card details, you name it. Imagine someone standing over your shoulder, meticulously noting down every letter you type. That's keylogging in a nutshell. Hardware keyloggers are physical devices that can be discreetly plugged into your computer or keyboard, while software keyloggers operate stealthily in the background, often bundled with other seemingly legitimate programs. And here's the thing. Keyloggers can be incredibly difficult to detect, making them a potent weapon in a hacker's arsenal. Let's get a little technical for a moment and talk about MAC spoofing. Now, every device on a network has a unique identifier called a MAC address. Think of it like your device's fingerprint on the internet. Hackers can use MAC spoofing to disguise their device's MAC address, making it look like your device to the network. Once they've spoofed your MAC address, they can potentially intercept your data, including your WhatsApp messages, as it travels across the network. It's like sending a letter in the mail, but instead of your name and address, you put someone else's effectively impersonating them. All right, let's talk about WhatsApp Web, the convenient feature that lets you access your WhatsApp account on your computer. Now, while WhatsApp Web itself isn't inherently insecure, it can be exploited if you're not careful. Remember those QR codes you scan to link your phone to WhatsApp Web? Well, hackers can use malicious QR codes or even social engineering to trick you into linking your account to their device. Once they're linked, they have full access to your messages, contacts, and everything else on your WhatsApp account. It's like leaving your phone unlocked in a public place. Anyone can just pick it up and snoop through your stuff. This next one is a bit more complex, but bear with me. SS7, or Signaling System Num7, is a global network that connects mobile phone carriers. It's the backbone of mobile communication, handling everything from call routing to text messaging. Now, the problem is that SS7 has some vulnerabilities that hackers can exploit to intercept calls, read text messages, and even track your location, all without ever touching your phone. And since WhatsApp relies on SMS for account verification, hackers can potentially use SS7 attacks to intercept your verification code and gain access to your account. We all love a good app, right? But here's the thing. Not all apps are created equal. Some third-party apps, especially those from unofficial sources, can be malicious, harboring spyware, adware, or even worse, malware that can compromise your entire device. And once your device is compromised, your WhatsApp account is vulnerable. These malicious apps might request unnecessary permissions, like access to your contacts, messages, or storage, giving them a backdoor into your sensitive data. So always be cautious about the apps you download, especially if they're not from trusted sources like the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Backups are crucial for protecting your data, right? But what if those backups fall into the wrong hands? Hackers can potentially exploit vulnerabilities in cloud storage services, or even gain access to your device to steal your WhatsApp data backups. These backups often contain a treasure trove of information, including your messages, photos, videos, and even deleted data, making them a prime target for hackers. It's like having a spare key to your house hidden under the welcome mat. Convenient if you need it, but a disaster waiting to happen if someone else finds it. We're back to QR codes, but this time, it's not just about WhatsApp web. Hackers can create malicious QR codes that, when scanned, can redirect you to phishing websites, download malware onto your device, or even grant them access to your accounts. Think of it like this. A QR code is essentially a shortcut. It can take you to a legitimate website or a malicious one, depending on the intent of the creator. So, always be cautious about scanning QR codes, especially those from unknown or untrusted sources. So, there you have it, the top 10 WhatsApp hacking methods exposed. I know it can seem overwhelming, like the digital world is a minefield of threats, but it doesn't have to be that way. Knowledge is power, 
and by understanding these methods, you're already taking a huge step towards protecting yourself. Remember, cybersecurity is a constantly evolving game, and staying ahead of the curve is key. Keep learning, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep your guard up. Until next time, stay safe, stay secure, and keep those WhatsApp chats locked down. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more amazing content. Stay safe and secure online.